It's been five years since Noel McNeil, a college student and nationally ranked equestrian, suffered a catastrophic brain injury that left her in a coma near death after being thrown from her horse. Today, Noel is about to graduate from Monmouth University and is already building a career as a motivational speaker. NJN News health and medical correspondent Sarah Lee Kessler has Noel's compelling story. What a beautiful day. For 25-year-old Noelle McNeil, every day is a beautiful day. It's beautiful because she's defied the odds and is walking again. On this day, navigating the Monmouth University campus, her devoted mother by her side. I think it's important for people to be able to put a face to this is a disabled person, this is a person with a brain trauma, and look how incredible she is, regardless. Noelle has an attitude and a smile that lights up a room, plus a story that commands attention. On August 2nd, 2005, I sustained a devastating injury that has forever changed my life. Noelle, an experienced equestrian, was thrown from her horse after he refused a jump, just like this one. It was a replay of what happened to actor Christopher Reeve years earlier, but in Noelle's case, it was her brain that was catastrophically injured, not her spine. I barely had a pulse and was unresponsive. She tells these graduate social work students that her parents were given a grim prognosis. They were advised that my chances of survival were slim and that if I did survive, I would likely be disabled for life. Noelle, who's written about her near-death experience in her book, Heaven Exists, was in a coma for 11 days. After waking up, she underwent months of intensive rehabilitation at JFK Medical Center in Edison. I certainly walked differently than other people but I do walk. It really how far she's progressed in the five years since her injury has been just a, a wonderful recovery. Carolyn Bradley, the professor who teaches this class, hopes Noelle's story will better prepare her students to counsel war veterans with traumatic brain injuries. You would look at this person and would you necessarily think TBI? You might think Parkinson, as she shared herself, you might think she's under the influence of a substance. So being able to understand that this um, injury is very much a hidden injury. Next week, Noelle will graduate from Monmouth with a marketing degree. She hopes to use it to promote better understanding of the disabled. Sarah Lee Kessler, NJN News, West Long Branch.